That's the first movement of the Sonatina in G major by Felix Lecoupe. He lived from 1811 to 1887, so he was a Romantic era composer. This very sweet first movement is marked moderato, and it's also marked cantabile, which means singing. So we always want to make sure our students sing those beautiful melodies while they play. So a way to get them to really think about singing the melody is for them to understand where the phrase goals or the high points are of each phrase, and then taper each phrase at the end. So here, All right, I think that the phrase goal, or at least some of my students would say, the phrase goal would go to the C here. But it gets punched if we have our students move towards the wood of the piano there. Some students might think that it's the D. But that sounds funny. So let's go ahead and make the phrase goal go to the uh, penultimate note of the phrase. And if the student changes their physical gesture and drops to the bottom of the key, then they can roll forward and off the keys to taper the end of the phrase. So that works for every single phrase in this piece. So drop and then roll forward for the taping of the, tapering of the phrase. And again, we're going to the high point of the phrase. And we're going to drop and then we're going to roll forward and off the keys. And then the same thing here. So that's really what the students need to hear and also to feel in their playing apparatus as they work through this movement. There's only one little part where there's a different physical gesture. <laughs> no, sorry, there's an F sharp. So those little touch releases are just nice little basic staccato woodpecker touch releases. And the left hand, there is a lovely, easy, Alberti bass. So this is a great movement to teach as a precursor to the more quick that the, uh, the quick Alberti basses the students will need to learn um, later on for all those other uh, sonatina and sonata movements. So in this one, have the student practice a rotation gesture, leaving out the middle key, and have them listen for the descending line so that they bring that out and then when they add the middle note have them move forward and into the wood of the piano and then it's going to feel really nicely balanced and they're also going to feel like there's more weight in the fingers one and two if they play flat fingered they're going to get that sound, <laughs> which doesn't sound good. So that's why we have to balance that rotation gesture. So the fifth finger and the thumb. Are just nicely balanced. And then when the student plays the middle key, it's actually pushing forward, pushing forward into the wood of the piano. I think that's all the student needs to, to, um, to focus on in order to play that second movement beautifully. Excuse me, it's the first moment. It sounds like a second moment, but it's a first moment. So now let's go on to the second movement. <laughs> 